The Call of Duty community knows their guns. You guys have proven that over the years on this channel alone with your comments. There's lots of people out there who can tell you just about every gun in every single COD game. But today, uh, I'm going to stump even you guys. Welcome to the page, everybody. Jimmy or Chaos. Today, we're going to be looking at 10 forgotten guns in COD history. Let me know in the comments which of these you actually remembered. Be honest. Circle of trust here. Drop a like and let's start off with the IA-12 in Ghosts. Now, Ghost was the first COD game to have a dedicated marksman rifle. It was a category, but some of those weapons were pretty forgettable. The IA-12 fired in semi-auto and would kill in two to three shots, which that wasn't anything too special, but it also wasn't bad. The recoil was a little hefty, but nothing you couldn't get used to with some practice. However, it was one of the most expensive marksman rifles in the game. It cost you eight squad points. Who remembers those? And when you could do the same job with a cheaper and usually better weapon, why would you take this one into battle? Now, despite being a decent gun, you barely ever saw it. I mean, you did, and nobody ever really talks about it. Guys, before we move on, link at the top of the description. If you get anything from G2A.com, use code chaos whether it be steam cards whether it be new pc games whatever it is get yourself some cash back now at number nine the echo hawk dual bore in black ops 4 i've mentioned this gun a couple times on other top 10 lists but it always seems like people have no idea what i'm talking about when i do the echo hawk was a dlc assault rifle in bo4 and it was also one of the very last weapons released for the game and since not a whole lot of people stuck with this game through its entire life cycle a good chunk of the community missed it. Now, design-wise, super cool. Double barrel assault rifle. It could hold lots of ammo at once in return for a pretty average time to kill. The damage wasn't anything to write home about, but it was pretty nice having a gun with the ammo capacity of an LMG and the handling of an assault rifle. Now, it was decent for those who used it, but a lot of people never knew it existed, and I'm willing to bet plenty of you are in that group as well. At number eight, the TMP in Modern Warfare 2. Now, Modern Warfare 2 had some of the best secondaries in COD history, and people remember most of them. The M93 Rafika, we already know. The PP2000, pretty underrated. And then you had this bullet hose G18, you could use those, right? What about the TMP? This machine pistol was widely forgotten by the COD community because it was almost hilariously underpowered compared to the other machine pistols. The damage was average, the fire rate was average, the magazine was average, the reload animation was weirdly long for a pistol. It was just average. Yes. It fired in full auto, but compared to the others on this list, it was awful. In concept, it shares a lot of traits with the MP9, which appeared in Modern Warfare 3 and dominated multiplayers, but in practice, no. It's one of the worst machine pistols in Modern Warfare history. At number seven, the Repulsor in Advanced Warfare. One of the most unmemorable guns in the game. And there were a lot of guns. The Repulsor was released as DLC in November of 2015, more than a year after the game came out. And by that time, most people had already moved on to Black Ops 3, which is probably why most COD players don't remember this gun. It was a submachine gun obtainable through supply drops. It fired energy rounds and had uh, decent stats. A three to, shot, or three to six shot kill with a 35 round mag. Pretty average fire rate. The recoil wasn't super bad. It was a decent gun all the way around, but since it didn't really stand out and it was added to the game so late, almost everybody forgot about it. Honestly, I didn't even remember what it looked like until I heard the name. At number six, the MG36 in Modern Warfare 3. Now, MW3 had a lot of iconic weapons, but the LMGs were pretty weak in the category. One of the least memorable guns out of them was a very not memorable group. It was the MG36. It was a more mobile LMG. It had a 42 round mag and relatively flat, fast reload, but the accuracy, it was terrible. And the damage was pretty average for the LMG category in Modern Warfare 3 as a whole, to be honest. The fire rate wasn't anything special. I mean, despite having decent handling and a fast reload animation, it just wasn't really better than an assault rifle. There were so many better weapons than the MG in the game, and I can probably count on one hand how many times I actually saw it online back in the day. Now we reach the top five. The TT-33 in World at War. I, I promise you, most of you do not remember this gun. Do not lie to me. I mean, there was a handful of handguns in World at War, and everybody had a favorite. Some people preferred the power of the 357 Magnum. Others liked the nostalgia of the M1911, but... You know what pistol nobody talks about? The TT-33. Soviet handgun, final pistol you unlocked, but it actually had identical damage to the M1911, the Nambu, and the P-38, which made it feel underwhelming once you started using it. Most players just stuck with the handguns they were already using, since the TT just didn't feel very unique or have many distinctive attributes. It wasn't a bad pistol, but since it was such a late unlock and it didn't do anything special, people forgot about it. At number four, 
The M1014 in Modern Warfare 2. It debuted in COD 4, but it wasn't used very much there, but it actually returned in Modern Warfare 2 for some reason, and since it was such a late unlock and nobody liked it, people forgot about it. Semi-auto shotgun, carry only four shells at a time, that's not a lot, you have to reload them all individually, that's not good. The damage was decent, but nothing compared to the other shotties in Modern Warfare 2, and that horrible ammo capacity? Nah. There was really no reason to use this. There wasn't over literally any other shotgun in Modern Warfare 2. A lot of people forgot about it. I do think the Modern Warfare 2 version was better than the COD 4 version, but that's not saying anything. Modern Warfare 2 was full of god tier shotguns, and this one couldn't keep up. At number three, the Barrett MK8 in Modern Warfare Remastered. I bet you didn't remember this one either. Super fun experience. A lot of COD players consider it to be the best release of the last decade, which is kind of sad when you think about it, but whatever. It did do a great job of bringing back COD 4's gameplay. It got a lot of heat, though, for adding DLC weapons to the mix a few months into the lifespan. While it did bring back some COD Legacy weapons, it also brought in some really forgettable originals. Case in point, the MK8. This was an LMG that had a 60-round mag, killed in 3-5 to five shots with no stopping power, and it fired at a little over 900 rounds per minute. Now, in terms of time to kill, it was good. But it didn't do anything super special compared to the other weapons in the game. The handling wasn't anything to get excited about, and there really it just didn't have a use. Aside from being underwhelming, a lot of the MWR community just flat out refused to use the DLC weapons in order to preserve COD 4's gameplay. So there's probably a good chance you just never saw the gun online and you didn't even know it existed. It wasn't bad, it just wasn't used. At number two, the MTS 255. You definitely don't remember this gun. Revolving shoddy in a game where shotguns were useless. Carried five rounds at a time and had a decent fire rate, meaning you could pretty constantly be caught in your reload. Range? Bad. Pellets? Disappear after 10 meters. It made it one of the worst guns in the game for a big, huge, open map design of COD Ghost. That's not going to work. Shotguns were already bad enough in the game. When you go throw something like this in there, it was just, it was bad. And it cost eight squad points. Nobody used it. Nobody unlocked it. I don't think I ever got killed by it. But at number one, the most forgotten gun I can think of for this list, the BR-9 in Modern Warfare Remastered. It's a handgun that was added in August of 2017, so a lot of people missed it, but it was actually statistically one of the strongest guns in the game, tied with the Desert Eagle for raw damage. It also had an eight-round mag, gave it a slight edge over the Deagle on paper, but the main reason people didn't use it was the view kick. Recoil wasn't high, but the visual kick was absolutely insane. It made it virtually impossible to track your targets, yes, the Deagle kicked like a mule, but it was weirdly easier to control the gun with barely any recoil. Plus, like I said, well, what I, what I said about the MK8, a lot of people refused to use DLC weapons in this game, which left the BR9 to fade into obscurity in the COD community. It was cool. I mean, it was cool having a Luger in a modern COD game, but it just wasn't popular. And you probably forgot about it. And there you have it, my friends. Let me know one forgotten gun that I forgot, and I'll see you soon.